Betsy. Svetlana. First things first, Cyrus has given me full authority to oversee today's resolutions. I want to make it amply clear that he is not happy, as needless bloodshed is not good for him, and it's not good for you. Well, if Svetlana had respected the boundaries of Cyrus's accord... Petar, did the little girl call me disrespectful? Sure sounded like it to me. Careful. Did Ginger Boy just reach for a gun? Sure looked like it to me, but that would be breaking our agreement. That would be breaking our agreement. I trust there are no firearms present. This is correct. No, none. No firearms present. You're scratching my ass is all. Excellent. Namaste. So, Svetlana and friends, um, you're upset because Crusher, uh, which one's Crusher? Ah, Crusher accidentally killed Peter's nephew in a misunderstanding. Which one's Peter? Misunderstanding my That's ass. That's what it was. Even though Mickey the Hat ignored every bullet point of Cyrus's accord by going to Roro's saloon to begin with, we still feel just sick about it. Don't we, Crusher? Crusher! I feel just sick about it. And, Patsy, you are prepared to make reparations. Me and my cold hard cash are here to smooth over any hard feelings. It's probably filled with grape paper. Second story is our most trusted associate. If he says he packed the case with cold hard cash, he packed the case with cold hard cash. Second story, what'd you pack the case with? Cold hard cash. What's in the back half? There's no amount of money can ever make up for my nephew Mickey's life. No amount! Of course. In the abstract, there is no dollar amount on human life. But today we decide on $50,000. That's about $60,000 too high. You motherfucker. Oh, careful there, Petey. Second story doesn't like it when you swear. Do your second story. The use of profanity is an indication of a mind lacking in creativity. And it makes me angry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I think the problem here is that we are not seeing each other as people. I think it's time we get to know each other, right? I think it's time we heal this divide. What do you say? I say we get this over with. Agreed. Ready? Now let's everyone hold on to our horses here for a second. Cyrus asked me here to oversee this exchange because, frankly, y'all are fighting like wet alley cats. Boy, was he right. Now, I may not know a lot about ultra-violent mobs and gangs, but I know about mending fences. I was Cyrus and Carlotta's marriage counselor, and he trusts me implicitly. It was my counseling that saved them from a messy, costly divorce. God rest her soul. Now let's stop screaming. Start teaming. What? We're gonna play a little icebreaker. What? This is two We're gonna play a little icebreaker. Number one, I love Mondays. Number two, I hate mornings. Number three, I am single. I'm proud. This is ridiculous. You hate mornings. That's a lie. Yes, very good. Crusher, you go next. Number one, I killed Mickey the Hat. Number two, I did it on purpose, and I enjoyed watching the light fade from his eyes as he bled to death. Number three, I forgot to tell a lie. Okay, um, well, you know, that's not- uh... I'll kill you. <laughs> Looks like everyone made it to the party. Drop it, Hayseed. I thought you said you didn't bring any guns. Oops. Cyrus told me there would be no guns. <gasps> Looks like he made a little fib, so I'm just gonna go now, okay? You're gonna stay right where you are, toots. Okay, I can do that too. So what do we do now? I could be here all day. Does anybody know a joke? Oh my god, I do! Okay, hold on. You know, I'm just gonna take my shoes off because... Oh I don't want anyone to think I'm trying to pull a fast one, but my dogs are barking. <laughs> okay? Okay, this is a good one. 
Why did the Clydesdale give the pony some water? Because he was a little horse. <laughs> <laughs> a double meaning. Seriously, guys, the quality of the Fashion Valley Zara has gone down so much. Right? Right. Hey, Svetlana. Yes? I mean, I, um, I kind of have to go to the bathroom. What? I think I might be in some trouble here. Maybe you should have thought of that earlier, pal. I told you not to get the double crunch gordita. You went to Taco Bell before you came here? Badass has still gotta eat. You don't like the Mexican food? It's not a Mexican restaurant unless they give you free carrots. You really need to use the restaurant. They have a two-for-one entree at Las Olas. Las Olas is good? Oh my god, seriously. It's more than enough food for you and your date. But you have to buy a Pepsi. It is nothing. I enjoy the Pepsi. If I may, I think we should put that conversation in our back pocket for the moment and find a reasonable course of action to move forward from this moment. Don't be alarmed. I'm gonna pull out of my bag. It's not a gun. Or a bomb. Or a scary elixir. It's much more powerful. Now everyone, take a breath. Empty your minds. And go to that divine, non-judgmental space within your life. Think of the brook you used to skip along as a child. Is this making anyone else more stressed? I can't breathe. Shut that thing off now! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's your choice, too. I know you. You do not know me. I definitely know you. Well, you are in the same business. You probably saw him at work. You were dancing. Come again? You were dancing at Le Beat. I do not dance. You were dancing shirtless. What's he talking about, killer? I'm in the faintest. Maybe somebody tell a joke. A priest, a rabbi, and a magician walked into a bar. What's he talking about? He has never seen me dancing shirtless. Fine, whatever. You were in a harness. You were dancing to Lizzo. I mean, everybody dances to Lizzo. What? Everybody dances to Lizzo. Of course I was dancing to Lizzo. I knew it was you. I'm Philip. He doesn't care. I'm Malik. Really? I thought your name was Killer. It's a nickname. I kill people. Cool. I kill people too. What are you doing after this? He's killing people. Of course, after that. He's busy! What makes you think we're getting out of here alive? I'm an incurable optimist. I'm an incurable realist. The remedy for that is first round on me. Sounds chill. On the border has really good margaritas. I have a two for one coupon. Cool. Cool. Philip, I think he likes you. Is that true, killer? Do you like him? It's not an appropriate time for this conversation. Answer the question. He's. Not without his charm? How come you never told me about this? I'm like hardcore P-Flag. I didn't know that. Well, you could have asked. I just thought we were, you know, work friends. Well, that just cuts me to the quick, if I'm being honest. My fruity brother was my best friend growing up. We don't talk anymore, but that's completely on the account that I'm homicidal. Myself, I've been with many women. Many. But there was this one time, he was a bagger boy at Ralph's. Tall. Thick lips, a judicious smattering of moles. I asked him where the Omer's glue was, even though he knew I knew already. Afterwards, we lay together prone out back in the alley by the dumpster. It was then he told me that he had cancer. Second story, please. This is not your moment. Let him finish. It was earth shattering. And afterwards, when he held me, it felt like I was being held by God after being fucked by him. Oh, God. Oh, God. David. So, this is great. We are communicating, girlfriend. Obviously, Riley. One ruins the moment, Riley, when one comments on the moment. I'm just trying to defuse the situation. Thank you. 
Finally, somebody! If you do that again, I will definitely shit my pants. Maybe we need to start thinking about an exit strategy here. I'd like that. I think I have a date tonight. And I have about 2.5 minutes until nothing else matters. I think I may have a date tonight, too. Is he talking to me? Are you talking to me? Oh, sweetie, no. Cool. So what are you proposing? We lower guns? Exactly. But this is fun, no? Totes, Fets, but there's no reason anyone here has to die today. So, on the count of three. One. Two. Three. You are lying to me again, little girl. Guess I am. I'd seen you before as well. I saw you on the dance floor. Yeah, you did. Liz was my bitch. This work has been very, very lonely on me. Me too. For next Sunday? Shouldn't we have our margarita date first? It's gonna go well. So Sunday? I swear if you heard him. I like to play Groupon Roulette. Buy a random activity on Groupon. I have a spontaneous adventure. I went hot air ballooning last Sunday. I went last Saturday. We just missed each other. Next time you won't be so lucky. Cool. Because that sky felt pretty empty. Okay, let's do this now before I throw up. It seems we all have good reason to get out of here today. So let's do the one, two, three again. 